Today's math strategy video is understanding missing add-ins. So let's look at our first example. We're talking about finding missing add-ins using number bonds. So you're going to see in your math workbook this type of number bond. So, and then you also will probably see maybe a um, math sentence that's probably missing something from it. Okay, and so we kind of have to put this together like a puzzle. So the first thing is we need to see what do we have? What do we have in our math sentence? Okay, and so right here, we have a five, we have an equals five. So five is gonna be our sum. And then these are gonna be our add-ins. So we have a missing add-in right here because we're adding these together to find the sum. So I'm gonna put five right here because that is where our sum goes. It's our total. Okay, then I'm gonna put this, this three. This three is one of our add-ins, so I'm gonna put it right here. But this is where we're missing a number. So we have to figure out what is gonna, what is this number gonna be? Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my number sentence right here. And it says that three plus some number will give me five. So I'm just gonna kind of draw this out. So I'm gonna draw three. Pretend like these are um, little counter, you know, counter chips or whatever. And so I need to get to five of these. So I'm, I know that this is one, two, three. Okay, so I'm gonna draw one more and that's gonna be four. And then another one would be five. So right here, this is how many I'm gonna add to it. So three plus two is five. So I'm gonna erase my question mark here and I'm gonna put a two. So this was my missing add-in. So three plus two is five, and also two plus three is five. So three plus two, two plus three. Either way, when I join these two numbers together, I'm gonna get five. Now you also may see a number bond that looks like this, like a whole, a part, part, whole. Once again, our sum is gonna go here. Just know that this is the same as this. It's just, it looks a different way. It's standing up instead of going um, across. So I'm gonna put my part, which is one of my add-ins. I'm gonna put them both in here. This is the same as this model, so just know that. Let's look at another example. So for another one, you might be giving given, sorry, a number bond, and you have to find the missing add-ins. Like you're gonna have to find all of the um, fact families for this. So here, it gives you numbers, but we're gonna have to identify what is the add-in here. So just remember that this number on top here, that this one is gonna be our sum. We know that it's because it's in blue, and then these two are both yellow. So that means that they are going to be our add-ins here. So this would look like four plus three is seven. I can also write that as three plus four equals seven. So when I add three and four together, so one, two, three, and then I add four more, so one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and I count them all together, I should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, you also might be asked to write all of the fact families that would match this number bond. So let's look at that. So we already have one. Four plus three is seven. I can also think about a, um, a subtraction problem that would match this. So seven minus four is three. I can also, seven minus three is four. 
And then I can also write another addition problem. So these would be all the different combinations that would match this number bond. So typically you will have four of them. So just try to remember that. But this main one right here that we're looking for is joining these two add-ins to make this sum. That is the end of today's math strategy video.